This is Robert Field, known to many as Bob Field. Bob has had an upward battle since birth. Being born with cerebral palsy, which is a group of disorders that affect a person's ability to move and maintain balance and posture. I'm Ken Field. Uh, I'm Bobby's younger brother. So I'm Trish Wheeler. My name is Jeff Field. One of Bobby's younger brothers, second youngest sibling. Bob Field. Jeff Wheeler. Well, I don't think he was uh, completely hard of hearing when he was younger. This is why he can actually talk pretty good. He went to school with us. He was in a hard of hearing class. But uh, um, as years went on, now I don't think he can pretty much hear anything. Cerebral palsy is the most common motor disability in childhood. Cerebral means having to do with the brain. Palsy means weakness or problems with using the muscles. Although he might have a tougher time than most, through the support and love of his siblings and mother, he seemed to thrive. He went to a normal school until his hearing got worse, and then he had to go to a school for the deaf. Of course, the deafness was a, a challenge, but we all adapted to it pretty good, and he had seemed to adapt to it pretty good. Um, Something that I, I guess being younger and then seeing my older siblings, you know, Trish and Ken uh, getting married, I remember that was kind of a, you know, he always knew that he was older than them. So he, you know, kind of like, well, when's it gonna be his turn to get married? And so we had to kind of ex explain to him and try and brush it off as best we could. Um, uh, now, you know, um, I pick him up every Saturday to come for supper and I visit him during the week and I, I make sure he has um, everything he needs, any new clothes or, or whatnot. Well, I mean, back in, I mean, him and, him and I would, uh, we would play, you know, football, catch out in the, on the street, we, you know, throw a baseball around. Uh, he, he couldn't skate, but he would uh, actually go on the ice, maybe even in his boots and play with us. Uh, the biggest thing I find, you know, lately is thinking about, you know, he's, he's aged, he's, you know, he's in his 70s now. He's, you know, to him, to us, he's always seemed younger, I guess, but then you think, oh, he's 70. But I just think about, like, all the stuff that he used to do with us when we were younger. You know, like, you know, was mentioned, like, you know, going on the ice rink with us. You know, he was handicapped. He, he you know, had a hard time, or harder time walking, of course, than us, but he was on the ice in his boots with us, and he was playing baseball. He would, you know, put the glove on his good hand, catch the ball, take the glove off, and then throw it with that hand. And baseball, yeah. Football? Football, baseball, yep. Hockey. I always remember, like, he lived in a, residence in a group home for uh, quite a while. I remember going there with me and my younger brother and my dad going to pick him up on the Saturday and then bring him home uh, for the weekend. Now, you know, same type of thing as my other siblings. We, I bring him home to, to my house and um, he's, he always wants to know what I'm doing at home, whether it's <laughs> You know, the stuff that I do, the hobbies, he's always interested in, in what I do and to show him what I did in the last week. And... He loves superheroes. So, like for this Halloween, he, he kind of wanted to be a Green Hornet, but we don't have that costume. He has a Batman costume, so he's going to be Batman. And uh, he likes to color, color and to paint. Uh, he paints birdhouses and and stuff like that. He uh, tries, you know, he keeps busy at night coloring for hours, I think, some some nights. And the Batman, everybody was playing. Everybody was Batman. I remember one time when I was little, and this was when we went, we were all at Victoria Public School, and somebody called them retarded. 
and um, I started kicking the person. And, uh, we got sent down to the principal's office and the, the other person, the other kid got in trouble, but I didn't. One story that I really remember, him and I were playing, uh, I was running up and down the street. He was standing on the front lawn throwing me the football while he was throwing it so that I couldn't catch it. Like I wanted him to, to throw it ahead of me so I would run and catch it. So I took the ball, threw it on the ground, threw my arms up at him and said, no, 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 good, I'll finish. And he, no, 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 just hold on. After that, every throw was perfect. So, you know, you just had to, uh, uh, you know, let him know. And... I think uh, with him, probably the hearing was the, the hardest for him. Um, but when we were growing up with him, I didn't know any different. Bobby was Bobby, so I never really thought of him as disabled.